Hello YouTube land, welcome to another edition of Jeff's Toy Reviews. I am Jeff, your host, and today I am reviewing Transformers, uh, Titans Return, Autobot, Stylor, and Chrome Dome Deluxe Edition. And uh, first we're going to take a look at the packaging like we always do. Um, there's a nice piece of artwork here, and I'm going to show you something about the artwork. I think it's kind of interesting, uh, but I'll show you on the card instead. It was pointed out on a, by... Um, a different uh, reviewer and I can't remember his name right now I'm really sorry about that um, this is Chrome Dome in his uh, car mode there is another picture of the artwork and then on the back here is the product shots of um, and the bio so if you want to pause that you can read the bio and then here he is his head is popped off his shoulders and becomes Stylor and then of course you know Stylor can ride in the cab of the car right there and then here is the car mode and everything so um, and also as as usual the heads all the um, heads are compatible with uh, leader uh, voyager deluxe and just by themselves they can be added to any um, any robot or excuse me any autobot or decepticon the head can just pop on to any of those that are part of the titans return line so uh, that's pretty cool you know that's it for the packaging um, as you can see, there he is in his car mode. I'm gonna bring this up forward just a little bit. Bring the, I'm gonna bring down the um, camera a little bit too, because I want to show you a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna. It always does come with its normal um, instructions. There, these are red, gray, and white, and you know, just basic transformation, which is cool. And then he comes with his Autobot card. Now, this is what I was talking about. And this is pointed out by, I want to say, I can't remember his name, but he does chill reviews. And I can't remember his name for the life of me. And I'm really sorry because he's, he's really good. Um, and I'm really sorry. Uh, if you look at this art, that head is extremely tiny for that body. He looks like a pinhead. However, in the toy mode, he actually looks perfect. He looks great. He is, I think, one of my favorite in this line. Um, the Decepticons are my overall favorite because they've they were since G1, but I really, really dig this guy, or really, really enjoy this figure. So here is the um, tech specs of Chrome Dome, and then when Styler jumps on, boom, he just gets a little bit smarter, and you know it's pretty cool. So that's it for cards. If you like cards, um, I'm gonna get into the Headmasters really quick because I thought this was kind of hilarious. So if you look, this is Blur's Headmaster, or Titan Master, and this is um, Chrome Domes, with the exception of the paint, because that's the big difference. These two guys are exactly the same. The same mold, arms, chest, body, legs, everything, and then, of course, except their, their counterparts' heads. But... I wish they would just added paint or something to distinguish this guy. There's nothing on this robot. I know Repro Labels has been doing stuff with like adding, um, adding like visors and then little Autobot Decepticon logos and stuff, which is great. And um, I'm tempted to go that route. It's just that Repro Labels can get a little pricey, but I do enjoy, enjoy the Repro Labels. So you can always check them out at toy ha toyhacks.com. So that's blur i'm gonna get say on the side this is stylor he's your typical he has your the titan master he has very minimal movement with ball joints head is on a ball joint that helps with articulation and head mode and he can sit and then he can sit so um he chrome dome also comes with two weapons he comes with a gun that is just like blurs except for all red and then he comes with another um Piece. And I want to say this is on another figure, and I can't remember the figure, too. I will not hard head. Mm, kind of reminds me of Scourge, but I think Scourge is just a little different. But you can take the Titan Master, bring his arms up. And then there's this slot here. It's got the tab on the back of the feet. And you just plug him into there, and then he can make this a weapon or a vehicle where, and then you put this gun on here if you want, and he can just be like shooting everybody. Cause you know, he's, he's bad that way. Um, I'm going to set that off to the side. The guns, you do take the car mode. If you look at the card, he has ports on both sides. You can put one gun here in the port, 
you could put the other one. You kind of have to put it this way, you know, um, just so you can have clearance. If you put it upside down, this piece drags. You can't put it this way because then the this it'll just be sitting on a side. So um, you can do that. If I display these guys in car mode, I'm not going to have the weapons attached. That's just me. He kind of rolls. My guy has a sticky, his two front wheels, they're there, they roll, but for some reason, they're just, maybe, ah, no wonder I didn't have it tabbed in all the way. Yeah, still that wheel just doesn't want to roll very well. But car mode is really cool. Uh, overall detail is really nice. Um, I like the paint that they did here on the tops. Um, the Autobot logo is really cool. He's got painted... Um, Blue headlights, um, transparent, pl transparent plastic here to act as the windshield. This is all painted and really nicely. It doesn't match quite up, but it's still pretty nice. Um, let's see if I can get this open without doing the cheat way. Aha, I was able to do it. So this pops right open like so, and you can put Stylor in here. Just sit him down and boom, he's your pilot. Check it out. And then this just closes right down on top. However, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I'm going to go into transformation here in a minute. So, but yeah, he fits pretty good. Um, there's two tabs that are here for, and on both sides here for the, the windshield to tab into to keep it closed. And um, it's that. Underside, undercarriage, you know, you can... If you're familiar with Transformers, you know this. these are going to become the legs. These are going to become the arms just because of the mold itself and how it's set up. But I think other than that, he looks pretty good. The underside looks really nice. He transforms very well. Everything tucks, tucks away nice and neat. So let's go ahead and transform this guy. And we're going to start up here with the, um, with the windshield. And watch, I won't be able to pull this out again. Aha, I'm able to do it. So pull the windshield out and then... You see these two tabs here, or these two tabs here, these two slots here. You just take the windshield, tuck it right into there, like so. And then you can pop out the arms, like so, and like so. And then we will come around, turn the figure around, open up, well, clear for clearance. Go ahead and bring the arms out, and like that. I'm gonna bring legs down like this turn the waist around bring the feet out front like so like that and separate the legs you're gonna take the arms pop out the fist the arms on this guy remind me of um, prowl and side swipe and um, Streetwise from the Combiner Wars because it has this three jointed, you know, has a swivel here and then it has this weird extra joint, you know, the elbows kind of here. I and I like these arms, I really do. I liked them on those figures too, so it's kind of nice that they did reuse a little bit of that. Um, and then you're going to take this piece and you're going to fold down the chest, and that fills in everything. Nice color that you saw on the hood of the car. They brought it back here. Tabs are really nice. And this is really cool. You see there's a couple of tabs here. You got a tab here and a slot here and also over here and here. And you just bring this back and you kind of accordion flip it out. There are these two um, tabs here and you got these two slots here. And those are just gonna fit right there. And that's gonna be his backpack. And um, he tucks away really nicely. I think the entire robot mode has been done really well. Tucked away very cool. And um, I dig it. Dig it a lot. He looks good. And now to add uh, Stylor. You're going to bring Stylor's arms down. Bring it around. Now, that's it. There's his face. Really cool. Looks like that ID IDW look. I like it. And then come on, get in there. Perfect. He is in. 
It's the, sa it's the same tab that's like on all the Titan Masters. He does get full 360. He can look up down a little bit, up a little bit. Um, but if you look up too far, his head will pop out. His um, shoulder is on a ball joint. There is a hinge here where I think if you really wanted to, you can bring it up like, what's up? And then um, he does have a swivel that goes 360. Arms can go, mm, yeah, they go 360. And then he does have a um, single joint elbow, the or 90 degree elbow, just the um, bend there and um, no rotation in the wrist or elbow. Um, he does have a hip swivel. He does, he can do these, he can do the splits. Um, both legs on a ball joint. He does have a thigh swivel. He can bend at the knees 90 degrees and he has a small toe, um, toe movement you know i guess you know call that and then um and that's part of just transformation but if you really need to use it where he's doing something dynamic then cool and then of course you can put his weapons on him on here and then for this one you could put it like this i just you know you could put it in like so i just think it looks really dorky if i have this gun on there it's like that just so it looks like a straight up rifle or something and you know, you have them shooting or, you know, whatever you want to do and kind of posing them already. But, um, so that's Chrome Dome. And let me show you a couple size comparisons compared to the other, um, the other ones that are out there. I'm sure you've seen my review already for Wolfwire. And here he is. Oop, let's do it this side. And... They're roughly the same size. Wolf wire, wire is, of course, taller at the shoulders. And then we have Mind Wipe. Bring him in here. And he's, yeah, just taller at the shoulders. So um, with the other, the other Titan Masters that are out there, these deluxe figures, these guys fit and look on the shelf really good. Um, I haven't reviewed this guy yet, but here he is with the Legends class figure. There's Rumble. And, you know. He, they scale nicely, I think, because he's deluxe, he's legends, really cool. So this has been my review for Chrome Dome, um, Titans Returns Chrome Dome. I will tell you my thoughts on this guy right now is I really like him. I like the articulation. I like the transformation. Excuse me. Um, I like the transformation. I like the, the detail that they put in for him. There's a few things that, you know, I think that repro labels will be coming out with that will be very nice to see. Um, to get that really G1 look, but um, overall, I'm impressed. I'm I can't really say a lot of bad things about these guys, with the exception of like Highbrow and Scourge, who have really wobbly head syndrome because their necks are for some reason. He's like perfect. Like this guy's just you look down, look up, you know, just was really good. So um, I really like this guy. Um, I was happy to find Chrome Dome just the other day. So I have this entire wave. I'm just looking for the Walgreens exclusive now of um, Brainstorm because I do have the um, San Diego Comic-Con 2016 Brainstorm. I, I bought that pack, but I haven't reviewed him yet. And I'm waiting actually to review him with the um, Walgreens exclusive. So you can get a really good comparison of both figures at the same time. So... Um, that has been my review of Chrome Dome. I hope you like him. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. I plan on doing a lot more Transformers and Toys reviews. I've got Marvel Legends coming up. i got so much stuff coming up. I have third-party Transformers coming in. I'm really excited. Um, I've just been told orders have been shipped, so I'm really excited about that. So, uh, Again, please like, subscribe, comment. If you have any comments, feedback, please. I appreciate it. And I do apologize for rambling a little long. Really excited about this figure. Please have yourselves a good evening. And again, this has been Jeff with Jeff Toys Reviews.